Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game. Starting 2019, eh? And we've had so many of this series. Uh, but uh, there's a reason. There's always new things and I like to talk. Um, so this is the newest uh, Cenozoic creature that's going to be coming uh, soon. I think it is... Um, if I remember, I th I, it must be a legendary. Um, but I'm thinking maybe super rare or rare even. Um, because it looks like it's an Indicotherium. Now, if we have a look, I think uh, people have already got this uh, before because this was actually um, put out in the updates like really, really quick, but it was taken down. Um, as we know, this game always has updates and then Ludigo, oh God, we made a mistake, then take it down. Uh, but I think it's the Megalosaurus, which is this guy. Um, and I only have one actually. I'm pretty sure I've got like 30 of them. I just haven't hatched them. So I should actually put them all in the incubator getting ready. Um, and as far as other sort of Indicotherium looking things, it could be either Indicotherium or it could be Urtinotherium, that one. Um, so what I'll do, we'll get prepared and we'll go into Cenozoic. Uh, yeah, I have 17 of them, 17 of them. Uh, so that takes four hours. Uh, you know, I may as well... I need it level 40. Uh, I don't... I don't feel like it's going to be too... Uh, it, like, what I'm trying to think in my head is if it's going to be worth getting it to level 40. Um, I would probably say yes, because I never use Megalosaurus. And I never even really use um, Indicotherium. Um, not that it's not bad, just in comparison to stuff like Titanoboa and the newest hybrid that we got going as well as uh, the, the Gasphornes or whatever it was. What was it? The Terror Bird. Yes, we can max that up. Yeah, we have a level 31. This thing's a badass. So let's see it eat. <laughs> Go on. New little scabbers. And pow. Oh, lovely. It should eat it whole. I don't know why we have to like, it picks at it. It could swallow it whole, I'm pretty sure. Looks awesome though, we'll see, we'll see that what, well, the second last time, because it might be the last time we ever see it. Actually, it'll be the last time we'll ever see a level 40 do its eating animation. So, um, yes, make, get your fill. It does look really cool, I do like the way it looks. And at level 40, 4,405 health and 1,377 attack, putting it in the leagues of Titana Boa, making it one of the best creatures. In fact, it, because it's a, is it a VIP or a tournament? It's a tournament creature, so a VIP creature would even be better. Um, but we have it finally maxed up, so let's have, <gasps> let's learn. Remember, we need we need to. I think YouTube's algorithm picks up uh, subtitles, so we need to say educational content promotion. <laughs> So, what's the first one? The massive herd. Oh, sorry, the massive head of razor sharp beak. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> the massive head and razor sharp beak of this large flightless bird pack quite a peck. And wow, it, it for some reason, it doesn't want to shut up. Okay, there we go. Uh, often thought to be a predator, these massive land birds actually fed mostly on plants and seeds. Is that true? Well, not this one. This one it eats like rodents. God, Ludia. Standing at more than six feet tall, Gastonus lays eggs bigger than that of any modern bird. I'm assuming that includes the ostrich. Uh, six foot. Is it really six foot tall? Six feet tall. Is that that's six foot, right? Because I'm pretty sure ostriches are taller than that. I'm pretty sure ostriches are taller than me. Anyway, um, but it has a bigger egg. Scientists have found Gastornus bones, eggs, feathers, and even footprints. That's amazing, considering the bird lived 40 million years ago. Now, I, I find that absolutely fast. I think they used to live in um, South America, I think it was. Because North America, you had stuff like the Smilodon and... Um, I think, I, I think that was, you had bears and stuff as well, and possibly some wolves. Uh, I think you definitely had wolves. But in the South Americas, um, you had the terror birds, you had the giant sloths, you had all this amazing uh, megafauna. And when the two continents came together, um, the terror birds came in contact with the Smilodons. Um, and I think not too long after that, they started going extinct. Um, it's, it's just fascinating to me to think that saber-toothed cats, I think, even woolly mammoths went extinct 
not even 10,000 years ago. I think it was. Um, I think maybe, maybe, I don't know. But the last mammoths lived in the northern parts of Russia. Um, and they shrunk down to uh, half their size. Which, I, again, is... Oh, hello. Is that... Basil? What are you doing? <laughs> Basil? <laughs> Oi! Death! Buggerlugs! <laughs> Basil's just, like, barged open me door. And then, he, and then he's went off and he's went into another room. I don't even... Hold on, guys. I don't even think he can get out. Give me a se second. <laughs> he's on a mission. Well, that was weird. It was almost like he got the scent of a cat or something. And he was just, like, wagging his tail while uh, running about. Well, anyway, what do we have today? Ooh, we've got a 60 DNA. Look at that. Long ago, the days when I had hundreds and thousands of DNA. Now I don't. But, I mean, we're getting, we're getting closer. Look at that. 1,200 of that and 580 of that. We're probably going to get Monostegatops level 20 uh, before we get... Oi! Will you stop scratching doors? Ooh, Lowry, buy five new buildings and place them. Oh, for 22,000 food. You know what? Should I do that? Oh my God, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do a mission. I'm gonna go to market. Cause I, oh my God, I haven't done any of these in ages. Let's go to buildings. Let's not place any of that down. Ooh, we've got that to place for free. One building. Wait, how many do I have? Two building. Oh, three, four, five. Does that count? Is that the mission done? Free, free, free. Oh, ooh, ooh, I have to click the manual speed up. Oh, okay. Oh, so they don't automatically complete. Or do they? Oh, that's weird. Well, did I do it? Buy and place. Aha! There we go. <gasps> 22,000 food. Oh my God, a bit of the story. <laughs> I think it might have been... Maybe two years since I've done a story mission. I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. You're late, Dr. Wu. I checked my lab first, Mr. Mizrani. The security of the samples and eggs come first. I'm not as concerned by dinosaur eggs held inside triple locked vaults as I am the fully grown dinosaurs who escaped the triple locked habitat. Oh, oh, look, oh, look at that. Oh, easy little face. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh, we did oh, three speed ups. Oh, okay. And then we've also got this. This is almost done. Unlocked at 4,000, sorry, 4,500,000 dinosaurs hatched. Ooh, well, we'll get there. And wh ooh, what's this one? Completing missions is the best way to gain XP and level. Oh, thank you, game. Cheers. I've been level 75 for the past four years. <laughs> the situation is not as dire as you might imagine. Uh, we, we cannot account for, oh, uh, we cannot account for a four floss raptors. And you say that isn't dire? No wonder Claire doesn't let you talk to the press. If you've been ev 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 what? If you've never been evac'd. Oh, okay, by Chopper, Lowry. I don't think you know what dire really means. Hey, because that was him at the end, I think. Why don't you wish, why don't you wish you is Dr. Wu? Collect 2 million coin from carnivores at level 31 plus with a bonus of 30% or higher. Can I do that just by clicking that? Hey, there we go. <laughs> Collect 260. This camera is standard equipment for the raptors involved in Owen's project. Unfortunately, we cannot stream the images live due to magnetic interference. That's true, but the equipment also broadcasts a proximity signal on an ultra short wave a frequency that Owen and Barry should be able to pick up on security on the security bands. They know when the train raptors are close, which is more than what they know about the wild raptors. Wait, 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 wild raptors? Okay, the raptors still pose significant danger in the park, though. Minimal damage. Sorry, minimal danger. <laughs> so long as we act quickly and carefully. Don't want to know what the next one is. I can do it automatically. All right, everyone. Barry and Owen are trying the raptors. Everyone get back to work. Lowry. Figure out what happened to the locks of the raptor habitat. Claire, organize internal security patrols, but don't alarm our guests needlessly. Somebody find out what Hoskins is doing for external security. And Dr. Wu, will you watch the movie so we know that you're a bad guy? Collect a million coins from herbivores. Oh, God. I could do that in the two seconds as well. Well, wow. They're very easy missions, aren't they? And we're back to Mr. Mizrani. But anyway, we've got to do stuff like this. 20 hours and 40 minutes. Uh, what's this one? Is that- oh, yes. Last night I did a little bit of this, hence why everything's already done. And that one as well. How about this one? Oh, they're all the bloody same. Not even any- like, we have all these creatures and we very rarely get an aquatic or, a, a, you know, a Cenozoic battle. Um, 
Dino bugs, please. Any more than 30. Oh, it's not worth it. This one is. But those are like 4,200 attack. What lies beneath? 3,550. Uh, again, 4,500 attack. Fight for your bucks. This is the only one that's like a tiny bit close to doing. Um, or being able to do, so we may as well. But the thing is, we can't... Let's use Master Dinosaurs. Let's go for it. We can't afford to uh, buy back any dinosaurs. And I think the first two battles are all Pachygallosaurus. And then the final battle is three Pachygallosaurus. Sorry, two Pachygallosauruses for the first one. Uh, so, you know, let's go for three reserve. Because we know we can't die in two. Wow. I, I, yeah, I've just been playing, like, catch-up uh, this whole time. Um, like, with videos and stuff. And, like, spending more time on editing videos as well. Um, so, I'm enjoying, like, creating videos a bit more. Um, I'm not as rushed as I used to be. And I'm kind of just enjoying life a little bit more than I was before. That's for sure. Because, I mean... You know, you're only gonna be this young once. You may as well enjoy it. Rubbish. I mean, that's a thing. Like, well, what was that? I was watching something, um, and what what the guy was saying was very true because the way life is is we we focus on the first half of our life so much, and that's be just because a lot happens in the first half of your life. Let's say you know um, up to 40 years old. But then you've got the rest of your life afterwards. Um, and, like, as you get older, you're not as able to do things as... Oh, my God, I can't kill... Oh, you little bugger, you... I've got to switch it to Jongasaurus. Go for three reserves and hopefully he goes for four attack, leaving him with a zero block. Um, well, one block, possibly. Um, but, yeah, I, I kind of want to just enjoy more things now. Um, part of the... Part of the, the system with living at the moment is it's like you, you work all your life uh, to gain like to get money to then do nice things like go on holidays or uh, and he does have one block but yeah we've got him anyway um, and to uh, buy an, a nice place and to have a nice car and all this jazz um, but like that then you like you know you've you've got to past halfway and you can't do certain, like, I think, there is a point to, like, enjoying stuff, but at the same time, I want to do a lot of the enjoying while I'm young as well. Um, and luckily, you know, um, uh, this less lifestyles allow me to do that. I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, you know, I, I don't buy fancy cars, and I don't, um, go on, you know, five-star, um, uh, the hotels and all around the world and stuff, and buy yachts and things like that. Um, but I think there's, just enjoying life. That you don't have to have all these nice things. And here I am speaking on uh, a Jurassic World episode three hundred three thousand nine hundred and two, <laughs> Ex expecting people to be like, "Oh yes, be right to agree." Um, <laughs> yeah. It's food for thought. Um, you just enjoy enjoy the life while you can and do live it to the best of your abilities. I think. Um, is what we should all be doing. I really should face cam more. I should. It's just, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass. And I'm looking at myself in the mirror now. And I'm like, oh my god, my hair. <laughs> I don't have to worry about those kinds of things when I'm doing this. Um, so I think this video will probably go up the day of uh, recording. So it should be tonight. So it should be Wednesday. I'm assuming. Um, I mean, depending on where you are in the world, isn't it? Uh, oh god, he might attack me. If he goes for five, I'm dead. Oh, he would have killed me, but I'm not gonna do that. Also, yeah, I like, <laughs> I, I, because I play, I play Hungry Dragon. I play um, uh, Dragons Rise of Berg, and there's a new movie coming out as well, actually. Um, so that'll be interesting. I'm not too hyped for it, even though it's like this is gonna be the end of the um, of the franchise. But I do, I do really enjoy the movies when I do watch them. Though that's, I just, I just like, I know it's been so long. Um, and I've had people ask me, will you do a video on, like, Dragon's Rise of Berk? Because I do play it. I mean, I, by play, I just mean it's it's just so grindy. I log in and I I don't... Oh, God. Well, you know what? That'll do. That's... that. that, that it's closer. He's almost dead. Uh, <laughs> super Kool-Aid. Wow, you are you are no good anymore, are you, buddy? Um, this is amazing hybrids now. You barely do a dent into. Um, but, yeah, like, it, it's just... When I play, if I was to play it... 
I play it like once a day. And I, I barely do a few upgrades to a dragon. I barely feed it like twice and that's it. And then I have to save up again. So I think like the balancing and the grind for Dragon's Rise of Berk is really steep. You go from like getting loads of dragons, upgrading everything uh, really su like super quick. And then you get up to this when you're getting your dragons to level 100. And you know, you can only send so many off to get food and wood. And you can only hold so much. And it's just... It's like 200,000 for a pop for like, you know, and you need to do that five times or four times. It's, it's really, anyway, wrong game franchise, but I know there is a little bit of a crossover. They're both Ludia games. Um, so, I mean, if Ludia are watching, there you go. I think there's a bit too much of a grind. <laughs> there's gonna be somebody in, in Ludia's headquarters who, uh, oh, really? Ah, oh, come on. Oh, okay. Um, well, we'll go, we'll go for four instead of three. I think I think he went for did he did he go for three block? Oh my god! I'm I'm not even paying attention. Uh, one two factor two and then how about that? Did he go for two? No, he went for three. I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, there's gonna be somebody in Lydia looking over to the um the the, the, the there's probably like um an area or a section of people who just work on Dra Dragon's Rise of Berk. Um, you'd be like, ha! Ah, he said something about you. <laughs> one two three four one. And then, and that, because he's probably, I could have went, oh no, I couldn't, because even one hit will kill me. So I, yeah, I should just, I went for two reserve one block. Because, uh, you know, I'll just exit out now, because he's going to kill me. He's going to go for, he could, yeah, four. He'd probably, he'd probably go for four. I would say in any normal circumstances, that's probably going to be okay. But I only have Tijongosaurus left, so it's not okay. <laughs> this is a waste of space. Um, now you could say, well, Beaver, why don't you put in more amphibians? To that, I rebuttal. Um, what's the point? Because I, I actually can't. Um, because I need to save every creature I've got um, for these battles or else I won't be able to complete them all. Um, which is a bit of a shame. Because I want to. I want to get all the car packs and stuff. But you've got it's like you've got to pick your battles. I don't need life philosophy when it comes to Jurassic World Evolution. I want it all. Um, oh, there you go. So that was two. That's two battles we've done. A hundred DNA. And the last one through. Oh, the Udon. Oh, the Udon. Okay. So let's say we are probably not going to do what lies beneath because uh, that, blah, 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 that is ridiculous. Um, and like the best dinosaur I got doesn't even have half the attack. My Pterodactylus doesn't have half the health and half the attack of Tyrannodon, so I, I honestly can't do it. I, I mean, I did like three uh, of these battles uh, yesterday or last night, I think it was. Um, and I used all my creatures. As you can see, they're all used. This is probably about maybe 15 hours later and still I've got two days, six days, three days, one day. Six days, like a week for Pachycalosaurus. That's ridiculous. Um, especially when I've, I, like, I've just done this battle, I've faced up against six Pachygalosauruses. Are you serious? <laughs> and not even that, but, you know, this one. Oh, sorry, not that one. This one. Wait, what? Is that right? Am I doing the right one? Oh, well, you, you know what I mean? They're even harder than Pachygalosaurus. So, if we're gonna fight this, what is the best thing we can do? Um... There isn't really that much, but I could try and do it legit since, you know what, they take less than 20, they take like 22 hours to come back. So by the time I do this again, they should be replenished. Um, I'm just going to have to say bye bye to those packs. Um, at least I get some books, I suppose. So here we go. Baryonyx. Um, so we're going to have to go for one block. If he does go for two attack, that's great because then we can go for uh, two block. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. Okay, I'm probably going to have to exit out here. Uh, he's he's going to have three, and he might go for me? We'll see. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's great. So we can go for four reserve now. That's that's all, I, that's all I care for. Yes, there we go. And he wasted a turn. So he's got, he's got four as well. Uh, two do kill me. And he goes for four. Perfect. Happy with that. We do a little bit less attack. Um, probably should have put, thinking about it, I should have put Tani Colagrius in first, actually. Um, but hey, we live in, yeah, I should have, because five would have killed him. So now I have to go for, like, I have to go for that. I have to go for six instead of, instead of having two reserves, one block, I've only got one reserve, one block. Um, 
And he might attack me. He can't kill me in two. Um, oh, there you go. That's beautiful. So we'll go for four reserves, one block. Can we do it legit? These are pretty decent creatures as well. The Baryon X, the Tani Caligrias, the Prestor Sutures. They cost thousands upon thousands of uh, VIP points. So 2,800. Yes. I think we die in three, though, so we've got to be careful here. So that kills him. Um, and I don't think we can't die in two, so I may as well go for that. Wabash! Two, four, five... Was it four killed him? I think... So it takes four to kill him, so... Hmm, he needs to attack with something. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, one more would have killed me, actually. I didn't realize he was, like, two levels high, and it made such a difference. So there we go. And we did it legit. But we used so many good creatures for that. <laughs> Um, let's see what we got left, because I don't, I haven't said it. How many, like, up to 30 bucks. How many, how many 27s, 28s, 29s do you think we'll get? 29, 29, 29, 20. I just got swindled out one book. It's so annoying. <laughs> oh, damn it. Another 520 VIP points. Um, anything to spend them on? Ramiliosaurus? Not really worth it. Automophodon, not really worth it. And the sort of gold packs. All that I need in here is the Brone Ethereum. The uh, hyena don I think, Alumbia as well, and that's it. So no, ten thousand, not really worth it. And I can't really do any trades either. That's the problem. So we'll, um, so I'll make a start towards the Megaloceros hybrid. I, if it is you, you Tauran Ethereum, whatever it is, uh, I think we have it unlocked. I just haven't hatched it. If we have a look, please tell me have you. Ha! There it is. Awesome. So, uh, you know what, in case, just in case, you know what, 25 bucks, I'll, oh, it takes five days. <laughs> well then, um, well, actually I shouldn't have put that in because that's going to take off that slot when they're done, isn't it? It's going to go in the free one. Bugger. Well, anyway, there you go. So I'm going to have to end it here. A bit, bit of a short video just because I don't really have, ooh, do we have some? Yes, even more. So we are almost six tenths of the way towards, um, a mono stegotops. Um, we just need, so we need 401 monos, Monolophosaurus Super DNA, and we need 740, uh, Velocir Super Velociraptor DNA. Um, however, when, once we get that, we'll just have a level, another level 10 Indoraptor, which is still pretty decent, but when we get the second Monostegatops, we'll make a level 20 Monostegatops. And then I think we're starting to get into, you know, times where... Ludia might release another super uh, dinosaur because they don't want us to max up Indoraptor and then release another one because that's going to take ages. Um, I think I think that probably strikes a balance, maybe? We'll see. They probably already got... I mean, I'm sure Carnoraptor... Oh, wait, no. Carnoraptor's already a thing. Oh, it'll be interesting to see what it is because Indoraptor is a unique in Jurassic World Alive and Monostegatops is just a um, an epic, I think? Or... What? Yeah, it's a red one. Anyway, either way, guys, we're going to leave it here. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.